imagine what it would mean for a Kosovo person, for a woman, to watch her team at the Olympics competing with the likes of France or Australia, New Zealand. It would just be everything to, to be at that level from where we are now. Kosovo's participation in Rugby Sevens at the Olympics may still be a little way off. But every dream has to start somewhere. Journalist Bronwyn Jones founded Balkan Lynx Rugby Club, Kosovo's first women's team in 2017. A bold move in a country where only an estimated 15% of women participate in any sport at all. They laughed at us. They laughed at me to my face and told me it wasn't going to happen. Uh, girls here weren't going to do it. Oh, girls are allowed to play rugby there? <laughs> because a lot of people have this uh, vision of Kosovo women as not being very strong or being very meek, or because this is a mostly Muslim country, then therefore women should be a certain kind of way. But that's not the case. The first time I heard about rugby, I didn't know anything about it. I thought it was American football. Initially, my biggest supporters were my mum and sister. My father and brother were concerned. They would say, you're going to get injured. But they came around. I was fortunate to have the support of my family, and it made me feel good about my decision to play. Despite early setbacks, the club was shortlisted for the 2018 Rhino Grassroots Rugby Award. It has also played a key role in the wider development of the game in Kosovo, leading to the foundation of a domestic rugby federation. It's very important that it's not only just a both gender sport, but that, it, that women's rugby in and of itself is seen as a, a sport, a viable sport that should be taken seriously very seriously, and it should be taken on its own, it should be given its own level of development. If I was able to represent Kosovo, it would mean a lot. It would allow us to inspire other young girls to take up rugby and show them there's nothing wrong in pursuing your dreams. We need to get more people from all sorts of communities here playing, not just one group or one type of people from that group, but everybody having a chance to play. We need to really start focusing on having a competition in Kosovo. So that's going to take, yes, of course, money, but it's also going to take a lot of dedication from, from people to go out to the schools, to go out with the ball and start evangelizing rugby across Kosovo and women's rugby across Kosovo.